Hello. Hi, everyone. It is Sunday night. My name is Linda, if you haven't met me before, and I'm a demonstrator here in Australia with Stampin' Up. And every Friday night and every Sunday night, I go live right here on my channel. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, it's on my YouTube channel, or you might even be watching it on my Facebook page. So I have a Facebook page for people to watch these things as well. And I do both. So I, so I can talk to people whether they prefer Facebook or whether they prefer YouTube. Hi, everyone. Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't announced it yet, Donna, and I need to do that. I have got a date. I think it's, oh, I'm not sure now. Um, I need to confirm it because the date that I had put it down for has a clash with something else. So, um, let me confirm that. Okay. I'll pop it up on my, um, I have it in my newsletter. If you don't get my newsletter, make sure you're signed up for that. You can do that on my blog. Here we go. I'll put the blog address up on the screen. There it is lhookhiggins.blogspot.com you can go there and sign up for the newsletter it's right up on the top right hand side of the blog uh, especially if you're doing it on a, a laptop it's easier just so you know um but uh, i will have it in there i will have a, a newsletter coming out either monday or tuesday uh, over the next couple of days so just something to bear in mind um, and I'll also announce it on my blog. I'll also announce it um, everywhere I am, everywhere you can see I'll be announcing that. The day I wanted to go live was for Crafternoon was actually the 24th, which is a Saturday, but there's a demonstrator event on the same day that clashes with that and I'm deciding whether I want to try and switch it to another day um, or you know, what I will do. So, okay, I'll move that off the screen. How is everyone tonight? How are we all? Just go back so I can see your comments and see if we have any questions. Oh, Margaret and Monique and Donna have been here for a long, long time chatting away to each other. <laughs> nice to see you all. Hi, Rose. How are you doing, Rose? How's how's winter treating you? Do you find it easier in winter or, or is it more difficult? Um, and I'm just having a little look. Me and me. Who is me and me? Uh, do I know who me and me is? I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, I had little technical problems. Uh, I had to plug my phone in because I was worried about the battery holding up tonight. I'm a, a, just a tiny bit on the low side and I don't want it to run out. Um, if we suddenly have a, a screen go black that'll that or well, you suddenly can't hear me, that'll be what it is. Um, hopefully that won't happen. And then the other thing, I'm hoping that um, there's actually something missing tonight, all right, and... I'm the first person who can guess during this live what the something missing is, is going to, I will send them a card, all right? So I'll be watching the comments for that. And if you are the person who guesses what's missing, then um, then hopefully that will um, that will answer that, that question, all right? Things that I was doing before this live could go live. <laughs> all right. 29 degrees, Monique. That's lovely and warm. Summertime for you guys. <laughs> um, that's a beautiful degree. I think of anything up to 30, really, really nice. Like in the high 20s, that's my favourite types of temperatures. Once it gets over 30, it's getting a bit warm, but 29 sounds beautiful. Um, all right, let me go through and see if I... I'm so sorry I'm not saying hello to everybody individually. I'm sorry about that. Um, but... Um, Everyone who's here, um, if you are customers of mine and um, regularly ordering, I just want to let you know that um, any orders you put through this month will qualify you for next month's, um, and it's any orders over $60 will qualify you for next month's craft along when I send out all the supplies for you. Um, if you ordered with me last month, the supplies will be on their way in the next week and a half or so. Um and I've also got all the gifts that I promised for those people who ordered during my Norway giveaway. Those are all bundled up and almost ready to go. I've just got to stick them in the packets. So that's exciting. No, Cookie's here. He's here. He's not making any noise right now, but he's here. So I'm just going to keep going through. And everyone's guessing what the thing missing might be, but no one's got it yet. That's okay. Hi, lo love poet for you. You're new here. Welcome. And if you want to let us know what we should call you, do we call you by that name or do you want us to call you something else? Uh, hey, Cherie. Uh, not going too good right now, Rose. I'm sorry to hear that. No, yeah, you don't like the cold. Ugh. You know what? Um, don't don't feel you're alone with the memory playing up thing because um, 
goodness me, sometimes I can't remember why I walked into the kitchen or any other room for that matter. I get in there and think, hang on, what did I come in here for again? So I think that uh, a lot of people, oh, Cookie's here. He's here. He's not gone anywhere, Lynn. He's right here. <laughs> and Crumpet's, um, Crumpet's not in this room tonight, but he's not what's missing either. It's not. Now the length of my hair, that changed before I went away. So, no, it's not that either. <laughs> You guys are so funny. That whole doll cats thing makes me, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's Oh, hi, Rebecca. Nice to meet you. Whereabouts are you? Are you in Australia? Are you overseas? Where are you listening to us from? Ah, no, there'll be vellum probably at some point, Donna. There's a good chance of that. So, no, nope. no, nope, not different glasses. Gosh, you're all guessing. No, it's not the cat. <laughs> no, nope, not that. None of those things. Oh, that's, oh, that's not good, Rose. Try not to be scared. I know that probably doesn't help at all, me saying that. But um, for what it's worth, we are all thinking of you. So, oh, you're in California. Thanks, Rebecca. Well, I hope you enjoy it here tonight. Um, the whole point of tonight is to get crafty together. And with that, I'm going to get started. Um, is crafting the guess of what's missing? <laughs> no, no, it's not that. No, there is a light. See, there's a light up here. See, there it is. So, no, it's not that. All right. Okay, let me grab. Now, some of you may know we've got a DSP sale on at the moment, all right? And um, that DSP sale is 15% um, off all, lots of different selected DSPs. So I've pulled out a couple of my favourites tonight and I thought I'd play with some. And I've got, I'm going to switch over to the desk and we'll get started. On Friday night, my apologies. I spoke way, way too long talking about the trip, answering questions, um, talking about um, what else was it, the DSP sale and all those things. I was talking about all the stuff and it took me ages to get to the crafting part. So I'm tr determined to get there earlier tonight and let's switch over to the desk. Oh, oh you're missing, Margaret. <laughs> but you're here, so how can you be missing? <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah, we're all sending you our love, Rose. We really are. And I just, uh, yep, that's um, that's really sad. But I hope that it helps a little bit knowing that we're all thinking of you. All right. Okay. Part of your ceiling is missing. Yes. I heard, did everyone hear Jody had some damage? Is it in your craft room? Of all rooms to have water damage, that's not good. Um, oh, your favourite DSP. Yes, this is very nice. So this is one of the ones that's on special at the moment. Um, so here we have the special. This is it. It's a designer series paper sale goes from now until the end of June. Um, and there's, you can see lots of different ones. This is the one I just pulled out, this countryside in paper. And it's probably one of my favorites. Blue and white is a winner in my opinion. It's just, it's the missing thing while we were looking at you or your desk shot. Um, it's both actually. That's a clue. There you go. It's both. No one's guessed it yet. All right. And if, if no one guesses it, I guess I don't have to send a card, right? <laughs> All right, but I think someone's going to get it. All right, so um, lots and lots of different papers. And hopefully your favourite paper, whatever it might be, this one also is a favourite of mine, the Lay Shops. I love that paper. Um, I didn't buy the masterfully made 12 by 12 because it was kind of, it hit me as being too bright. But the more I see done with it, the more I like it. And I'm thinking maybe there is... Maybe I do need to revisit that one because it's really nice. The Zany Zoo I have, I haven't used it yet, just the paper. I don't have the stamp set or the dies. Um, I'm starting with the paper. And sometimes I do that. Sometimes I will buy designer series paper rather than um, buying the stamp set or the dies or punch or whatever it might be. I don't buy them straight away, okay? Um, and the reason why is because I want to get a feel for it. And you can get a really good feel for it by trying the paper first because sometimes there's images on the paper that you can cut out instead of stamping. Um, obviously, stamps are better because they're going to last forever where your paper won't. But sometimes the paper is a really great way to get a feel for a bundle. All right, so I hope you're taking note of what, what different uh, packages are here. I've got most of these papers now. The only ones I don't have, I don't have the Delightfully Eclectic, which is the big 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 pack that's a 48 sheet 12 by 12 pack so it's huge normally it's 53 dollars, and this 15 percent off has it down to 45 so lots and lots of different designs so take it that's that's a really good deal because you're getting more 
more of a discount off that one. Um, the Bright and Beautiful 6x6 six six paper, I don't have that one. And I don't have the gingham either. Which other one do I not have? I don't have the Masterfully Made and that's it. I've got all the rest. So I'm gradually working my way up to having them all. I will probably get this Masterfully, masterfully Made one before this special ends. And maybe I'll grab the others. We'll see. I do have a preference. I don't know how you guys feel, but I do have a preference for... Um, 12 by 12 paper if I if I can get it but having said that I do still get the 6 by 6 because you can still work with the 6 by 6 if you're careful and measure it up carefully you can get some you know several a couple of cards out of one sheet of 6 by 6 if you do the right thing with it so um it's lonely without me or is there a different Linda we're talking about <laughs> so uh half the ceiling and a tarp on the roof but the storm is coming again tomorrow oh that's not good oh we'll have to think of you i hope um i hope that that's okay and it doesn't mess it up too much no no more rain please all right um and margaret says she's in her craft room tonight yay and you're you're in the land and they're in the lounge room and paddington and tegan your two lovely puppy dogs are with you so that's awesome <laughs> just me Cherie well that's okay let's have a quick look now this is not a full pack of paper because it's actually a couple of pieces couple of I think I've used up most of this one because I did a lot with it it's got it's all different shades of blue so you've got boho blue misty moonlight balmy blue and night of navy all together and white of course and there's lots of lovely little things going on like little birdies in this one of course that's a favorite with stripes on the other side and we've got like little trees on this one here's some more of that one there with that one that I showed you before this one that matches up with the embossing folder I showed you that one night I love how the embossing folder works with this paper and on the back we've got like little little buds oh, they're upside down little buds can you see that All right and oh a, 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 what's it a row piece of white paper there a um, couple more sheets of this so yeah you can see that this is half a pack well this is most of a pack and then another pack thrown in together with it so I've kind of got a couple of duplicates here little foxes on that one I love the little foxes I think they're super super cute see this little one that's sitting here and this one that's running around love them I think they're super cute and then on the back we've got like little little flowers and dots really cute and then more of the trees so you can kind of get a feel for the paper anyway so it's really really nice paper so what I thought I might do tonight is make the cards we're going to make tonight we're mainly going to use DSP for it so not much stamping maybe some sentiments but let's just see I want to use this paper and I haven't even decided what um what pieces I want to use yet but I'm going to start with one inch squares so i'm going to do get my trimmer out and i'm going to cut and i hope this is big enough if it's not i'm going to i'll know really really quickly if it's not but i'm going to start with one inch let's see so one inch one inch and i have done cards sort of like this before i've got here a, a scallop piece which is this is from the scallop contour dies and i got it out of my use it up box as Ellen likes to call it a use it up box I'm thinking I should have gone a little bigger with these I think they would have been nice a little bigger but um, that's okay maybe let's go up by maybe maybe a quarter of an inch would be too much let's grab this piece here and let's see I'm gonna go well one and an eighth let's split the difference one and an eighth so one and an eighth of an inch. And if you're wondering why I'm doing inches, um, because these guys are measured up in inches. But if you want the, um, you could also do three three centimeters by three centimeters would be very close to this. So you could do centimeters if you prefer. All right. So let's. I do prefer. I think I prefer this. Yeah, that's better. Is the the extra um, little one eighth of an inch makes a difference. So there we go. And then what other colours will I have in here? I like to have some of the boho blue background. So that's this one here. So let's let's do that. And I'll go one and one eighth, or just just under three centimeters. You could make it exactly three centimeters, and that would work okay as well. But I'm going to keep them all the same. 
and I'm just making squares basically and then I'll probably use those other leftover bits those leftover strips um, I'll use them for something else it'll be just fine all right now I want to move these around so the colors are kind of matched up um, now I think I need a I did say this once before I've ordered new blades for my trimmer and they're on my next order to arrive so um, yeah I really probably need to so one and an eighth is a better size. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them so that like tiling them into the middle of the, of the square here, of the rectangle, the scallopy rectangle. And what other colours do I want to have? And I'm going through and looking to see maybe, maybe we could have, no, that might be, there's too much white in that one for me. It's not what I'm, not what I'm going for. I'm just looking to see what else. This one might be good with the bunnies on one side and the stripes on the other. Yeah, that's better. So let's go one and an eighth again. So whatever, whichever measurement you decide to start with, if you want to go up to three centimetres, that's fine, but you want to make sure they're all the same. Does that make sense? Dimensional. What have I done now? The desk is different. No. Let me go back up. Grid paper holder. No, no, no one's guessed it. I'm really surprised. I thought it'd be really obvious. Bling is missing. Yeah, so far it is. Cherie, of course. I haven't got to bling yet. The mess is missing. Oh, no, that's here. That's definitely, definitely here. <laughs> I have my camera angled so you don't see the mess. That's how it works. I do my best anyway. I'm going to actually turn that around because I've got a rough edge there. All right, let's see how this is looking. And I'm going to move all this out of the way. It's such pretty paper. Who else loves this paper? I think, was it Sol Vega that was showing this is her favourite one in the pack? All right, so... I think this size is about right, the three inches and one-eighth of an inch. And I think that's about right. Look how well that fits, all right? Now, you could glue these straight down or you could put them on dimensionals, but in the interests of time and also the fact that I want to stick something on top, I am going to just glue them straight down. But, yeah, you could if you wanted extra dimension. They look nice on dimensionals. All right, have I missed any comments from someone? Uh, no vellum, not yet, Jody, but there will be. That's not it. Uh, let me see if there's anyone else. No vellum yet. There will be. Don't you worry. <laughs> Janine got it. Did everyone see what Janine said? Janine, I'm going to need your address because I need to send you a card. <laughs> Janine got it. It's still there a little bit, but it's it's almost gone compared to what it was. So, yay, somebody got it. <laughs> Did we see that? No, never in the life would cat hair be missing. Nails coloured? No, I took the polish off the other night, but I don't normally have coloured nails, to be honest. No nail polish? No, nope, that's not it. But you guys, did you see? Did you see what it was? <laughs> <laughs> I have turned in my chair already. I have, and it didn't squeak. So that's actually why I was a little bit late coming on tonight because my husband was WD 40ing 40 the chair. That was one of the technical issues. The other one was uh, getting my phone set up so it didn't die halfway through the session. But yeah, no squeak. Isn't that cool? Yay. It does squeak. If I move the chair, I can make it squeak a little bit, but it's largely gone. So I'm so happy. <laughs> Yay. Good on you, Janine. You'll have to send me. You can't see a squeak. No, that's true. I didn't say it was something you could see. I just said when you asked me, was it something from when you could see me on my, um, you know, with my face or was it something on the desk? I said, well, it's kind of both because it was happening whether no matter which way you looked at it. So Janine got it. I knew someone would get it. All right, so let me, I want that to go up. Can you see how this is coming together? It looks, I love a tiled look. And I said the other night when I was talking about um, the inked and tiled 
um, punch and stamp set, how I love everything to tessellate. And I love just using the word tessellate because it just makes me happy. It's such a cool word. Um, and I think any kind of tile effect where you are you know, have a repeated design just always looks so, so good. I love that. All right, so that one's going to go there and then this one is going to go down the bottom. How's this coming along? Do we like this? Yeah, you heard it squeak in the beginning. Yeah, hardly at all, though. It's hardly at all. In fact, my husband said the longer I sit on the chair tonight and move around, the better it was going to get. And I can't even make it squeak now. I'm wiggling my bottom. Not that you guys need to know that. Sorry about that image. And um, and it's not making a sound. Woohoo! <laughs> the squeak. Yep. So that's what it is. And I knew somebody would have to get it. <laughs> you just ordered your second pack of this paper, Rose, have you? Um, I love this paper. Uh, it's just been, I've just enjoyed using it ever since it came. I think I'm on my third or fourth pack, actually. But then I've been using it for classes as well. So there we go. This is how this looks now. It's really, really nice. All right, I have got a piece of white. Now, I was originally thinking about putting this onto a piece of, in fact, I've even got the colour here, uh, Boho Blue. I thought about doing cutting this shape from boho blue and putting it on the boho blue, but I kind of like it on the white. And But if I put it on here, it's going to lose a little bit of that edge. So maybe we're better off putting it onto, um, I think that will be the go. So let's fold our piece of basic white in half. And I'm going to use a bone folder and flatten down that edge. So if anyone's looking for this paper, okay, it's called Countryside In. And it is 12 by 12 paper. And right now it's on special down to $18.48 for a pack of 12 sheets. Okay. And you can get multiple cards, many, many cards out of one pack of paper, which I love. And as you can see, you don't even need to have very much in the way of stamps because you can let your paper do the work for you. And that's really the beauty of designer series paper is it does the hard work and leaves you just to be able to design or decide where you want to put it. All right, so this is going to go right here. And then I think I feel a vellum circle coming on. What do you guys think? Should we do a vellum circle? I'm thinking, thinking, thinking about that. Here's some dimensionals. And here's my little um, spares box. Let's go over some other things. I don't want a really big vellum circle. That one's too big. So I always have some spares left over from other projects and other things that I've been playing around with. That one might be a good size. Let's see. Now, the thing is, if I use the vellum circle and it's this big, it's going to cover up some of my – it won't matter because I'm going to be putting a um, – well, we've got a couple of choices. I can put this in the middle and then have – a vellum circle, maybe we need even a smaller one, and then say a greeting over the top, but then that's going to cover up these middle bits. Okay, so the other option is to move this slightly to the top and then put a greeting down the bottom. That's another possibility. Or we use a smaller piece, like maybe, let me grab one in my little box here. And I've got like I've got a little label like about this size, but I would need a smaller vellum circle if I'm going to do that. So maybe I need to cut a new one, maybe. Or another option would be to use, like we did the other night, some of this gorgeous dazzle paper and not use vellum. Yes, that's right. I said not use vellum. What do you guys think? Do we want vellum or dazzle paper? What would you like? So I'm just going to I'll let you guys decide what would look best. Dare I say that? Greeting on Vela, small and label. Yes, I agree. Greeting down the bottom, says Megan. We've got lots and lots and lots of options. So what's, what are all the no's for? What are the no's for? Oh, the vellum circle. That's where you fell apart. Is that right? You didn't like the vellum circle, Michelle? I'm sorry, but I'm a vellum circle girl and you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to live with me using vellum circles. I'm so sorry. That's part of the, vellum circles are part of the deal. Or vellum anything really. Yes to the vellum circle says Lynn. And who's Sean saying she was first? <laughs> so Sean, I'm going back and you said yes. 
that was to the vellum circle. Is that correct or is it? am I wrong? You tell me again what it was you said that you said your first. Needs Matt. I agree, Jody. I think so too. But I'm going to put them, put this now. I'm thinking I will go in the center, but let's see what everyone else says. <laughs> da, 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 da. All tassels. I love tassels too, Cherie. And whenever they bring out tassels as embellishments, I always have to buy them. No vellum, says Donna. Oh my goodness, really? Who even are you? <laughs> Dazzle paper says Glenda. Vellum circle says Sean. All right, so Sean, we're going to use a vellum circle because you said so. And I'm losing, everyone's commenting so thick and furiously fast that I can't even keep up. But I'm thinking this one is too big because it covers up too much of the beautiful paper. Okay, so let's bring in our machine. And let me just grab that out from under there, put this on, and I just need to find my top plate because I have put that to one side. Where is it? Give me one second. It's gone walkabout. I had it the other night, so I know it's not far. Oh, here's a spare one anyway. Here's another. And my favourite, favourite, favourite dies. I think everybody knows what they are because I talk about them all the time. And that is the Stylish Shapes dies, if I can find them. They are my favourites. And let me show you, for anyone who has not seen them before, this is the reason why. Okay, my, my packaging is completely falling apart because I use them constantly, but they are my absolute favourite dies. I need to put them on a magnet or something and present them more beautifully because you can see they're literally all over the place. So we have six circles, and that's the one I'm thinking about using because that one will be a better size. Yep, that's a better size. So that'll be the one. We have six of those. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we have five squares that all nest inside each other. I love that. And we have four banners, okay? The banners um, I use all the time. So we used to have a different one. What was the last one called? Stitch shapes. And they were circles, ovals, and uh, squares. But I actually didn't use the ovals very much and I find the banners much more useful than the ovals. So I think this is the best set we have because I use them constantly. But I do have a new set, which I might pull out in just a little while. Um, actually, well, are they in this latest order? Let me have a check. But this is the, this is the one that I want to use. So that's it. And I'm going to use it with some vellum. open up a oh no I think I need to open a new pack of vellum oh my goodness although I'm sure I have some in my scrap drawer but that's okay <laughs> Sean's a troublemaker ah you being mean Sheree are you being mean to Sean or are you actually establishing a um a bond between you and her possibly all right, so I'm just going to quickly cut this one. So, Michelle, will you stop talking to me if I keep using vellum? Is that is that how this works? Am I going to um, lose you forever? I go through stages with different things, but vellum something that's been pretty much a constant and dazzle or um, sparkly papers of different kinds have always been something that I work with all the time. Now I'm going to go to the next size down and I'm going to cut myself a piece of white. Let me see if this scrap that I had on my desk is going to be big enough. I, maybe it will. Look at that. We can just make that work. That's good. Use up a bit of scrap. And we're going to cut a circle. For anyone who hasn't been exposed to the world of die cutting, it changes your, changes your life when it comes to card making. Oh, my goodness. We used to not have, before we had the first one, which was called the Big Shot, before we had that, um, you know, we didn't know what we didn't know. We didn't know what we were missing. 
And I have to tell you that, you know, I my <laughs> interesting story, when I first um, met my now husband and I told him, he asked me what did I do for a job and <laughs> And I said, you know, stampin' up. And he was like, I thought he won't know I'm going to have to, because I normally have to explain what that is. He went, oh, okay, cool. I'm like, you know what that is? And he's like, yeah, my mother's a demonstrator. No kidding. All right. So he knew even before anything else um, that what the whole thing was about. I'm going to use Misty Moonlight because that's one of the blues in this. And what will we what will we say on it? That is the question. Um, maybe... The other night I used hello. I do like a simple hello. A hello is good. It goes with everything. Um, but I could also have gone with a banner. A banner would have been good too. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. Maybe, here, here we go. We've got the circle here, which looks good, and the circle on top. Oh, goodness, there's a hair. Not even a cat hair. One of mine. Okay, that would. that's how that's going to look. Or... We could put a banner on it like that. What do you guys think? Do we like the banner or the circle? Which one? I know, right? Isn't that crazy? That's a thank you. Uh, good idea. Thanks, Kath. Let me see. What nice thank you could I use? Um, do, 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 do. I've got lots of thank yous. But I'm just looking to see a really nice one. Um, I've got to follow your dreams here. That's nice. And then I've got to thank you in the something fancy. This one here. Maybe we use that one. Oh, okay. Let me go back and see all these votes for circles and banners. Uh, the first person was Rose. Rose picked circle. So, yep. All right. So we're going to do a thank you on the circle. Oh, the thank you wanted to run away. Here we go. So you get to pick rose and I'm going to pop that on a block. I'm going to pick up my misty moonlight. Both look good, a banner or a circle. So there's no right or wrong with this. It just comes down to preference. That's my misty moonlight. Misty moonlight to me, especially with this being such a juicy new pad, looks looks really similar being so juicy to, misty, uh, to Night of Navy. They're almost the same. All right, I'm going to pop a couple of um, dimensionals under that. How are we going for time tonight? Certainly started earlier tonight, 8 or 9. I reckon I could probably get one more card in before 8.30ish. So trying to keep you to the hours so that you don't all, you know, worry that I've been going on way too long. All right, so maybe a couple more dimensionals behind this. And... <laughs> we all love vel are you telling the truth Sheree you really do love the vellum circles all right so I'm happy with that that's looking good what do you think this is a nice card it does need bling and it does need um probably a little bit of ribbon actually I don't always have to do ribbon but I feel like um this card would benefit from ribbon and I do have that lovely bordered navy ribbon which would look really really nice with this so let's go with that I'm going to tie myself a little a little ribbon here I don't want it to be a really big bow though only a small bow so I think I've said this many times but when if anyone ever tells you that tying bows is easy don't listen to them Tying bows is sometimes a matter of luck, okay? Sometimes you get the bow right the first time and other times you just don't and you have to fiddle and fiddle and fiddle to get it right and that's just the way it is. So if anyone tells you, if you think you're not good at tying bows, then put that idea away. It's just a matter of A, practice, and B, fiddling around. You've got to fiddle with your, with your bow to make it look right, all right? So it can sometimes take a long time to get it right all right let me have a little look silver strands red wool that would look nice oh lots of different people talking about lots of things white twine would have been nice too 
I just really love this ribbon. I think this is such beautiful ribbon. I mean, look how beautiful is that? Well, hold it in front of the camera so you can actually see it. Isn't that gorgeous ribbon? It's got that lovely shiny edge to it. I just love it. All right. I'm just thinking now that I'm doing this, because this is so similar to this colour, <laughs> it kind of blends into it a little bit. So I maybe am better off putting it on the side. I don't know. What do we think? What do we think? On the side or in the middle? Or should we go back and use a different colour? <laughs> it was luck. It was luxury that I got that right that time, but it didn't perfectly go straight away. It was, it did, I did fiddle around with it just a little bit. <laughs> you know, bow makers are really handy little things as well. I've used, I've used one of those before. And you can also use a fork, but you need a fork with, four twine four tines you know the 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 bits they call those tines at the end of a fork you need four of them and most a lot of forks have five but four works best okay so all right so I think we still need bling and I'm sure Jody would agree and I've got several options for bling um we have we have some pearls here I have some iridescent pearls. Those would look nice. Um, and we also have, oh, maybe I'll use these. This might be a good choice. The the balmy blue. Um, yeah, I think these are the go. So let's go with those. And, and I'm just going to use a little guy. Little guy up here. There we go. I'm going to call that a finished card. Do we do we like it? Okay, some people are saying side and some people are saying middle. Um, do, 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 do. The first person was Nairi who said side. Okay, it'll stay right where it is. I do like it. It looks good. All right, so that's our first card tonight. What do you think? Do we like that? And it's largely using just designer series paper. You can do so much with designer series paper. Um, I... I'm going to be doing a floating card. Um, there's a whole bunch of different floating elements that you can do with cards, whether it's a floating frame or a floating element in the middle of your card or whatever it is. Uh, that's going to be my technique class next month for those who live close by me and are able to make it in person to technique classes. I do one of those a month here in my home studio. And next month, this month, we're doing the white center paper, um, different things you can do with that. And next month, we're going to do the floating uh, the floating elements technique. So um, that's what we're going to do. But this is just one thing tonight that you can do with um, DSP. And the floating card thing works well with DSP as well. But I'm not doing that tonight. So let's use some different paper. And let's use one you haven't seen me use before. I'm just going to move this one out of the way. I'll get rid of that. And I'm going to get you guys to pick the ones. I haven't opened either of these yet. I've got the the let's go fishing one so cool yeah let's go fishing oh <laughs> i just moved that out of the way next uh the next one is uh let's go fishing or the zany zoo do we have a preference which one do you like would you like me to use one or the other we used the stargazing one on uh, friday night and that was fun you like the card good that's great Oh, cats first, I think. Um, no, I don't have a bedazzler. I never had one. I used to see those ads on TV. I remember them well um, when I was much, much younger. Bedazzler was like a gun thing that, like, you could um, bedazzle, you know, your denim jacket or, you know, your shoes or stuff like that. So there you go. <laughs> Bobby Dazzler. Well, Catherine said, Kat said zoo. So um, zoo it is because she beat you just by by a second or so, Cherie. I'm so so sorry. You'll have to fight it out, but we're going to go with the we're going to go with the zoo because that was the one. And I'll do I'll do the fish one maybe next weekend. All right, remind me to do that if I forget. I'm not sure of which it'll be Friday or or um, Sunday, but that'll be a good one to do. So. And also the zoo makes very good masculine cards. So I'm thinking that we might need to start thinking about Father's Day. I know that's what it sounds like it's a long way away. It's the second, no, the first Sunday in September. Um, 
but you know it's not that far away really so that'll be a good one. Oh come on I'm fighting with this why am I fighting with this all right let's let's open this up and see what we've got now it tells me on the back what colors are in the paper or if ever you're wondering what colors it's always written on the back here okay uh, basic black crumb cake lemon lime twist lemon lolly which is that new yellow petal pink pool party and pumpkin pie those are the colors so it's an interesting mix of colors but one thing i have noticed looking at this paper before i got it you've got all the little animals on one side um, and then you've got on the back basic black and white designs so you know white with little flowers white with speckles kind of mm, little dots waves they look like waves to me maybe they're not meant to be waves but that's what i think they are uh, stars in circles and then stripy chevron kind of design black and white chevron design okay but on the other side you've got your like your little animals so this is where it gets its name so the paper is actually called zoo crew and it's in the catalog um this is this paper is on sale this month um in the 15 percent off sale if you don't have your papers you haven't worked out which papers you want to get you want to study the pages um so it's on pages let me tell you in here pages 128 through to 132 i oh, know one uh, yeah 132 because the stuff that's on 133 is not on sale okay but all of this is so everything on 132 on 130 on 131 and also 129 so these ones are on sale but this page here with the in color and um, color collections designer series paper those ones are not on sale this vellum basics is not on sale on the gold celebrations which i have and haven't used i must use it because it's really it's calling my name i really want to use that that paper also is not on sale it's actually acetate printed acetate um, so we might have some fun and do some stuff with that at some point what do you think should we do that so you can see the zoo crew paper here okay and it is part of the zoo crew suite which is on page 46 and 47 i'll just quickly show that there's some fabulous samples here of things you can do here they've used it as wrapping paper then you've got you know some paper here um, on a diagonal and they've actually you can see that that paper there they it looks like it has a pool party background that's actually they have colored the white background in that paper and that's something fun you can do when you've got a lot of white backgrounds like we have in this paper you can color the background okay you don't have to be stuck with white if you don't want white you can make it whatever color you like and our blending brushes are perfect for that okay i would use the large the bigger size and the normal blending brushes not the mini ones because it'll cover a bigger area at a time so um so there you go or right, i'm sorry i haven't looked at the comments for a while and and I'm so sorry I, I've missed a few sorry about that but what I don't have I don't have the ribbon yet I really like it but I don't have it it's on my list um, and I don't have the zany zoo stamp set and the matching dies I really like these matching dies there's like curtains and there's a tag element and there's scallops it's a really useful set so I'm thinking I will get it at some point I just haven't got it yet because you can't get everything at once right um, you'd be surprised how many times people have said to me you know I'd like to see you use xyz set please use it and they say i'm really sorry i don't have that one and they go but don't you have everything I'm like no <laughs> do you know how much it would cost for me to buy everything a lot right <laughs> all right so let's have a little play with this i haven't even worked out what i want to do yet but let's look at the paper really really cute these little alligators and um foxes and they're riding little vespers don't you love foxes riding vespers bunnies riding scooters ostriches on skate um roller skates and um and alligators or crocodiles riding mo uh, bicycles oh and what's this this is some sort of anteater riding a uni unicycle as as they do right so um one of the cards i showed you the other night from my swaps was this one you might remember if you were watching me talk about swaps the other night and it's on like a little see the little crocodile riding the bicycle it's this crocodile riding the bicycle so they've used the dies to cut out the crocodiles and i don't know because you only get one two three four four crocodiles eight per pack and she had it she would have had to have made 26 of these to take part in the swap so i'm thinking maybe some people got other 
characters who are riding around doing things on unicycles or, um, you know, roller skates or Vespers. Okay, maybe maybe not everybody got crocodiles because that would be a lot of paper she would have had to buy just to <laughs> just to have crocodiles. So anyway, I thought that was really fun, and that's a cool thing to do. All right, so that's that one has, and you can see that these cut out also with the dies and I love it when they have DSP that matches the dies right I really like this paper I think I'll be using that tonight because it's my favorite black and white paper from this pack oh juggling koalas armadillos I love the word armadillo we've got um I've also got somebody gave me um a card a swap card with the raccoon holding the is it a raccoon I think it is holding the balloons um Interesting fact for anyone who's watching from the US, we don't have raccoons in Australia. We have marsupials, which are super, super cute, um, but we don't have raccoons. So um, so that's why I'm saying, is this a raccoon? Because I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen a raccoon in real life. I've seen a lot of different characters um, in the US, but not raccoons, I don't think. Um, elephants, all sorts of fun things. And on the back, we've got those little stars, really fun. It is a cool card, right? <laughs> Did you miss that one on Friday night? Um, and then we've got, um, speaking of knitting, I can see some of you girls are knitting llama. There he is there. Um, you like that one, do you? <laughs> I wish I was as slim as that knitting llama because it's a very, it's very elongated. It's, um, it's it, you know, yeah, I think I, I would like to be more like that one. If I was sitting, if I sit around and crochet or knit, I don't end up the shape of that llama. I end up a different shape. And then I've got the goat um, making baking of some kind, a sloth meditating. We have echidnas doing uh, painting a masterpiece and uh, a bear reading a book. So lots and lots of fun things on there. And on the back, we've got our waves. A trash panda, that's what you call them. That sounds, in Australia, um, so who said that? Sean, you said that. In Australia, we have something called bin chickens. Who knows what I'm talking about when I say bin chickens? They had a baby possum. I love baby possums. Aren't they the cutest things ever? In America, they have opossums, uh, which look like the evil twin of the of our possums. Our possums are super cute, but the, the possums in America are not very cute at all. <laughs> <laughs> Cherie, your husband's impersonating a sloth right now. That's great. <laughs> and it's a public holiday weekend, so he's allowed to do that, right? And we have a, a frog playing a flute. So aren't these fun? These are heaps of fun, these little animals. I just, And this is a really great introduction to the suite. If you love the paper and you love all the animals in the paper, then you might love the stamps and the dies too, right? But this is a great way. Oh, Jody's asking a question that Sean might be able to answer. Uh, raccoons are the ones who stinky poos are they, aren't they? I don't actually understand that question, but maybe Sean will be, be able to make sense of it. <laughs> an evil twin. The possums in America are like an evil twin of our possums, which are really cute and cuddly. Mind you, you don't want to cuddle one because they're not really uh, white with dots. And I just noticed that the dots, when you look at them, are actually kind of in a shape. Can you see that? Every now and then it's like a circle of dots. Can you see that? It's easier to see on my screen than it is when I look at it in real life. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's keep going. Oh, now we've got cheetahs in tutus and hippopotamuses in tutus. We've got a lot of animals in tutus, uh, such as sheep. And what is this? Does anyone know what this, this little creature here is? What is that? I don't know what that is. I need to need to know my animals better. But someone might, someone might be able to tell me. <laughs> That's hilarious, Sean. <laughs> the turtle and the beaver. Yes, of course. Is that a bit? Oh, no, that's not a beaver. What is this? Does anyone know? Um, you guys, are, this conversation is going downhill fast, really fast. All right. And the last one, um, there's two sheets of each, by the way, in case you're wondering. Okay. So this one has... Um, well, we know these guys do definitely have smells. So we've got some skunks. We've got lion who's toasting a marshmallow, which is rather cool. Um, what else do we have? We have pigs. We have some sort of little um, rodent of, ki of some kind. Maybe it was a meerkat. I don't know. It doesn't look like a meerkat, but it, it could be. That's the closest I can come up with as well. Oh, it does look a bit like a ferret or a funny-looking cat, a muskrat. Oh, this is hilarious. You guys are fun. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so funny, the big boob llama. Oh, you know what? I didn't even notice that the llama had boobs. Let me go back and have a look. Where's the llama? I need to find the llama. I've lost the llama. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Hang on, there's no boobs on that llama. Where are the boobs? Somebody tell me where the boobs are. I can't see that. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right, we need to pick. We need to pick something to create with. All right, I'm getting myself some black cardstock because black is a really good colour to work with this because we have black outlines for everything. And I'm going to cut myself. I'm going to cut myself a card front, which will be. 14.3 centimetres by 10, which is my basic card front size. We're not going to make the 8.30 deadline. Not that there's really a deadline. It's just a deadline in my head, but we're not going to make it. So, oh, well, if we go a little bit over, I'm sure you guys are going to forgive me. I hope you will. Um, let me see. Oh, I keep on navigating off my screen. Whoops. Ah, oh, 8.27. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. All right. So what do we know? You don't know how to spell meerkat. Is that what you're saying, Denise? M-E-E-R-K-A-T, I believe, is the correct spelling. Yes, correct. The skunks do do that, Jody. You are correct. Um, you need, are you having a giggle? Good, Rose. That's awesome. A weasel. It could be a weasel. Oh, her arms look like boobs. Let me go back and look at the liner again. Oh, my goodness. They're pointy. If they're boobs, that's really wrong, Cherie. Does anybody else think it looks like that That llama has boobs? I'm sorry, but those are definitely elbows. That's really? What are you on? <laughs> that's so funny. All right. So what are we going to have on our card? We want to have, you know, I'm leaning towards, I do love all the tutus. I think that's really cute. Um, I don't know. They're all so awesome. Let's do the piggy, says Megan. All right, let's do the piggy. There's as good a suggestion as any. I'm going to go with that, this one. All right, the one right here. Do you mean this one, the piggy with the backpack? Is that the one we're doing? All right, um, I'm doing this as a landscape card. So I'm thinking, and the piggy I would like, hmm, okay, let's see. Yep, I'm going to measure this at nine and a half centimetres. So I want it to fit inside. And I'm going to go with, we want our pig to be on there. Oh, but if I do that, it's going to get rid of the backpack and I don't want to get rid of the backpack. So I'm going to do this at nine. And let's see how this is looking. So like that. So we've got a pig and we have a, a skunk there as well. And then I really like, this is the paper. This is my favourite black and white design, the chevron kind of design. Um, the other thing, if I was going to use the um, like the dotty with the white background, then I would definitely be um, colouring the background, probably with the lemon lime twist because I love, like I said the other night, I love lime and black together. Okay, so this is going to be four and a half. I'm going to make this nine and a half long. So this is going to go here. So we're really going to let our, um, I've got my pig and I've got my skunk on there like this. All right, so we're mostly letting our paper do the work for us again on this card. And let's grab our Tombow or you could use seal or you could use tape, whatever is your favourite adhesive. You don't have to use what I'm using. So... Well, I feel like this um, this conversation tonight has completely fallen into disrepute. <laughs> but it's fun. So I know how everybody else feels about that. But anyway, 
we're trying to craft and and have an amusing conversation at the same time but you guys make that easy whoops push that back into position and you can do that while it's wet once it's dry it's stuck down forever but while it's wet it works really well all right and this piece down here so I'm going pretty simple with this one um, if I had a lot more time I might have cut out a little animal and popped it on as well but I'm not going to do that tonight in the interest of a of a quick quick card we're just going to have a very simple all right now I've already got a piece here cut out which I think would work well now this looks like an adventuring kind of a thing and I do I have anything along those lines that is going to maybe maybe we can get a little bit inspirational so I like some of these sayings on this crafting with you set we've got life is better when you're crafting which I think would fit here but it doesn't really go with my card you inspire me that would work or sending you a handmade hug what do you think <laughs> laughter is the best medicine you are absolutely right oh that's really good Leslie thank you awesome I'm glad we're having fun tonight so what do we think you inspire me okay Nari says you inspire me so let's go with that um here it is and these are photopolymer stamps so you um you know the good thing about those is you can position them easily and see where you want them to go and I'm thinking I will just go with I think I'm just going to go with the black the memento just because just because it um, is going to match in with my card pretty well but I'm thinking before I do that I'm thinking I might add a bit of color to this so let's grab a blending brush and some lemon lime twist, seeing as that, that is the colour that we're using here. Uh, lemon lime twist. Huh. Guess what? I haven't even opened it yet. It's brand new. So I'm going to quickly open up my ink pad. And I'm going to quickly grab some lemon lime twist. ink and very very softly gently add some color to this just to I don't know give it a bit of oomph and then I'm going to stamp it and when you do that it means you don't need to have so much around it you know what I mean it's it just it adds something without you needing to do that um, I am thinking I'm actually thinking that maybe a little bit of dazzle would be nice. I don't know. I'll pop that on here. But I feel like I want a bit of bling or something on there. <laughs> the planet's paper. Yeah, that would have been good too. And if you're wondering where this label comes from, it's the something fancy dies, which I really like. Lemon, lime with a twist. Yes, take a sip. <laughs> All right, so that's going to go right there like that. Very simple little card, this one. What do we need? Do we need bling? Do we need a bit of, I mean, I could add a little bit of um, razzle-dazzle straight down the centre here as a little, and I'll show you what I mean. That would look kind of cool. I like a, just a strip of this and then pop that right along there. That's a possibility. Can you see how that would look? And then if you hold it in the right light, it's going to shine for you. That's a possibility. Uh, another possibility would be some um, would be some other bling, such as I feel like I want something really shiny with this, so. We could do some little silver 
silver um, festive pearls. Those would look nice. What do we think? Still saving up, Cherie. Yep, 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 yep. That's okay, Leslie. You know what? Wild weed is one of those colours that I I like it not so much by itself, but I do like it with other colours. Oh, another possibility. We could also use some um, some gold butterflies. They would look fun. But it's not really what I had in mind. I tell you what we could do. We could add some iridescent rhinestones and colour them with, um, I don't have lemon lime twist in blends yet, but I do have parakeet party, which would be close enough. Would anyone like to see parakeet party used with some bling? What do you think about that idea? So this would be close enough, even though it's not exactly the same, it's close. Not the brush bus, but butterfly. Ugh, I can't even say it. I cannot say brushed brass butterflies. I can if I slow it down and think about it, but really not good at saying that at all. And I'm just looking here. Oh, also I have lemon lolly, but there isn't actually any lemon lolly in this card, but there is lemon lolly in that paper. There are um, yellow elements in some of the card. I think maybe I have some iridescent rhinestones here. These packs I've used up all the big ones and I want to use a big one. It looks good when you use wild wheat with other colours. It looks fabulous. I'm not so keen on it by itself. That's my honest, honest, honest um, kind of answer. But um, yeah, when you put it with other things, it's lovely. Right, so let's go. This is nine and a half. It's almost exactly the right measurement. I'm just going to throw a little bit of Tombow behind it. And whack that on there. Did you know, guys, if you are looking at getting any of the new colours and you don't have any yet, you can buy the core pack of all of them together. So you can actually get the full set of um, either the inks or the markers. I've just, on my most recent order, I haven't got them yet, but I've just ordered all the markers for the new colours as a batch. And I originally got all the colours as a batch as well. So I'm... You can't say it either? I know. Isn't that hard? Parakeet says, Jody. I know you love this colour, don't you, Jody? This is... A fake. Oh, guess what? I'm colouring this and I had a piece of acetate over the top of it. <laughs> Whoops, I wasn't colouring it at all. All right, so let's let's add, um, I'm going to add two big ones and a small one. Well, actually a medium size. Maybe I add a medium, a large and a small. I don't know. We have choices. Let me use my take your pick tool to get this off. Oh, that's what the other thing I'm waiting to receive is the take your pick, um, the take your pick extra bits that you can get. Um, that's really really cool. And I'm thinking maybe here. These look good in the with the lime on them, don't you think? I love coloring these. I think they're really. This one does not want to come up. I think they're really really cool. And I don't even think this one needs a ribbon or anything. I think it's fine the way it is, unless anybody thinks that it particularly does, but I don't think it does. I think it's fine as it is. I'm just looking to see if there's a piece of... What is that? No, that's Whisper White, basic Whisper White, not the thick stuff. Let me get a piece of thick Whisper White. Not Whisper White, basic White. Because I really want to show you guys um, the new the new bits of the Take Your Pick tool. I, the Take Your Pick tool, in my opinion, is one of the most fabulous things we currently have. It's a really, really good tool. And can I just tell you guys something important? That your card making is going to be as good as the quality of your tools. By tools, I'm not talking about stamps. I'm not talking about inks. I'm not talking about paper. I'm talking about the things that we use to improve working with all of those things so um, obviously 
a cut and emboss machine is a tool. Punches are a tool. Um, the take your pick tool, it's a tool. So I think that those are what make all the difference with your card making. And I don't know if you feel the same way, but your quality of your tools is good. You're going to make amazing cards. And it really comes down to that. So pick your tools wisely. That's where you should invest your money. If you're planning on investing any money into your card making, invest it into tools because that's going to improve your card making more than anything else. That's just my opinion. Learned a great tip today. Get a water painter filled with alcohol, not the drinking type, then open the stamp pad and take ink from in lid using a pen. Huh. And then you can use them to colour like blends. Well, there you go. That's a good tip. Did you try it? Did you use it? All right. So there we go. I'm going to call this a finished card. I'm not even going to use a ribbon on this one. I don't think it needs a ribbon. And this one, I need to reposition the ribbon because the ribbon came off when I was moving around. All right. There are our cards tonight, guys. What do we think? Do we like these? What do you think? <laughs> oh, good good tip also, Sharice. Be sure to label it clearly because if you don't label um, the one, the same as if you use bleach in a pen, okay? If you use bleach um, in one of your water painters, ultimately the bleach will destroy the water painter. So just be prepared for that. But if you are going to use it to um, to bleach with, which is great for some fabulous techniques. Bleaching is a really, really fun thing to do. But just make sure you label the water painter that has the bleach in it because otherwise you're going to end up with a giant mess. So there you go. Okay, does anyone have any? Yeah, I know finished cards. The finished card family, exactly. Thank you. And Janine, if you want to send me your, um, message me your address and I will send you a card, okay, because um, you were the one who guessed what the missing sound was. Look, I'm moving in my chair and you can't even hear it. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'll, hang on, I'm going to switch back to me for a second. Here I am. There I am again. All right, see, look. No squeak. <laughs> Except Cookie. Cookie's squeaking a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you all have a fabulous week ahead. It's Sunday here. Tomorrow's a public holiday here in Australia, so enjoy your King's birthday weekend. Um, to me, very, very odd saying King's birthday. Um, I'm not used to that at all. But, um, Rose, thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we're all thinking of you, and I really, really loved having everyone. It was a lot of fun tonight. We spent a bit of time laughing about all those funny, cute things in the Zoo Crew paper, and that was a lot of fun. And I'm sorry, um, Cherie, but I'm a bit concerned about the fact that you think that llama has boobs, really. I'm very worried about that. Okay. All right. No public holiday in Queensland. Sorry, Megan. Ah, sorry, Joan <laughs> and Cherie. <laughs> All right, girls, have a fantastic week ahead. Um, don't forget, if you are wishing to place an order, you can do that through my online store. I'll put the details below. So if anyone wants to click the more button below this video, um, there'll be details there how you can place an order, which I hope you will. All right, have a fantastic week, guys. See you next weekend. Bye.